my name is Adebisi Adetunji, a media professional as well. And um, I'm the convener of this um, webinar, Media Talks. And the, the mind, the, the idea behind this uh, media uh, webinar is basically to bring together colleagues in the industry where we can learn. If you agree with me, things have evolved, things are changing, ever changing in the media landscape. And it looks like we are working so hard as media professionals and we are not really seeing what is what, why, what is, what is commensurate to the hard work we are putting in because probably we are not getting it right. So um, let me just dig into what I want to say uh, in the next five minutes and I'll introduce our guest so that we can just roll with it. Um, Shogo, next slide, please. Yes. I've been reading a book by John Maxwell. I've read it before. This is the book, Talent is Not Enough. Never Enough. I've read it many years ago, but I'm rereading it again. And as I was preparing for this webinar, it came to my mind that, again, we are talented people. You know, media people, we are creatives. We are talented. We are fantastic. You know, we, we are good at what we do. And then we think, we often tend to think that, oh, because I'm a good presenter, I'm, I have the gift of gap, I can talk, I can talk, you know, with breeze on the airwaves, I can write very well, I can do, you know, you, you just, we just pride ourselves in what we can do. And then we're wondering why we're not moving, we're not growing, we're not expanding, our opportunities are not opening up. You're wondering why, in spite of the fact that you are gifted, you are good at what you do. Next slide. So talent is okay. I mean, that's the starting point. But talent is, there are many people with talent, if you agree with me. Many people can do what you do, you and I do, and they are even better. So talent is cheaper than table salts. What separates the talented individual from the successful one is a lot of hard work. So you can be talented, you can you know, feel good about what you can do, but are you willing to put in the work? I always, some of my colleagues that know me, I always say, are you ready to put in the work? If you're not putting in the work, you're not going to get the results that colleagues in the industry are getting. And putting in the work goes beyond just sitting on your, on behind the mic or the camera or behind the pen writing. You need to know much more, which is what our guest speaker will do. I'm not going to go into her own area. Next slide. Again, talent brings opportunities, but right choices open the door of even greater success. John Maxwell. In other words, you have, dis you have discovered your talent. You discover that you are good as a presenter, as a content creator, as a writer, a journalist. You are good at what you do. But then again, your talents can open the opportunities, some opportunities to you, but not totally all the opportunities. Remember I said talent is not enough. Your talent can open the first opportunity for you. Then you need to put in the work, hard work. Then your choices will determine how far you go. All of us are where we are today by the choices we have made. And I will talk about my own choice because the floor is not for me. The floor is for our guests. And I want us to keep the time. I'll talk about my journey, how some of the choices I have made have brought me to where I am today. And I'm almost done with this, my session. The next slide. Um, so this is just the last slide before I introduce our guest speaker. Talent plus right choices equals A plus person. So again, this webinar, you know, this webinar offers us a platform as media practitioners, as media professionals, to push ourselves forward, to give ourselves an edge, to do things differently. If you want to grow, if you want to succeed as a media professional, you, you cannot be doing things the way you've been doing them in the past. You cannot say, oh, this is how we have been doing it and we continue. You cannot say, oh, we are the young, you know, the, the new breed, we know what we are doing, we are audacious, we have the creative ideas. You might not go far if you are not leveraging on the experience and the expertise you need to function in this field. So it boils down to our choices. And right about now, I would like to introduce our guest speaker because again, we say we are working to time. We are media professionals. 
and we want to keep to time. We know we are all busy. So I want us to, you know, welcome, make welcome our guest speaker, Anike Ade Funke Treasure. She is a multiple award-winning multi-genre media professional and a social entrepreneur in Nigeria. Please just keep the clapping coming. She's bestrides in radio. She's worked in radio, TV, print. She cuts across. And I tell you, this woman, I say she's retired, but not retired. You will see what I mean when she comes up. I don't want to waste time, you know, talking about all that she is. She's, she's into a lot of things. She's going to be sharing her experience through her journey through radio, through the TV, and she has evolved. And I think she's someone we need to listen to and, you know, just glean. I have my pen and paper, my pen and uh, jotter here, regardless of whether I'm the one, you know, um, uh, I'm the one organizing this uh, webinar. I'm here with my book, oh, ready, my daughter, ready to pen down all that is necessary. She's going to be taking us on a ride for the next 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes thereabouts, and then we'll have questions for her. So you can keep the questions. Maybe if you have questions along the way, please start dropping them in the chat box. And when she's done, we'll be able to take some of those questions before we wrap up. Right about now, make welcome again, Madam Anike Ade from Ket Treasure. You're welcome, ma'am. You can unmute yourself, ma. You're here, right? Yes, I'm let here. Me, let me check out. Good morning. Yeah. Everyone. Okay. You have the floor, ma. For the next twenty-five I'm here. minutes. Yes. yes. Please Thank go you ahead. Very much, uh, sis. Um, good morning, everyone. Okay. Um, good morning. So I'm glad to be here. Uh, what I'm trying. To Good morning, everyone. Can we have a round of applause for ourselves? Let's unmute our mics and give ourselves a round of applause. <laughs> you can unmute yourself and give yourself a warm round of applause. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good to be here. Good to be here. Great. Right. So, good morning. <laughs> right. So, <clears throat> what I was trying to do is to make sure that I have a backup because, well, um, at the BC was talking, I could see that um, I was losing my my network. So, I've done a backup with another one. Well she was talking good morning everyone is good to be here um navigating and succeeding in the media landscape that's the the topic had been given but i've done a bit of a um adjustment to that but first let me introduce myself in addition to what adbc has said i'm the executive director illuminates nigeria development network i'm also the creative director yellow bloom consulting that's the one you don't know much about but we do quite a lot um at the background we're not uh, in the public you know in your face with that one so i'm glad to be here i'm going to be starting this um session with this can you all see what's in my hand it's a rubber band if you can see just say yes 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 so i know that we're together can you see yes, the can rubber see band it. in my hand great yes, yes. so yes. Yes. thank you very much you can see it so i'm going to be using it to talk to you about the law of the rubber band now at the bc started with a book uh, on talents by John Maxwell. I have another book here. It is Beyond Talent by John Maxwell. And you know, of course, that I'm a John Maxwell leadership trainer and facilitator as well, coach, trainer, facilitator for the global John Maxwell brand. One of the laws of growth is the law of the rubber band. Now look at this rubber band, you know it so well. This is what I'm doing to it and I can stretch. What I'm doing is I'm stretching it. I'm stretching it. Uh, if you saw the way it was, you would never think it could stretch this much, but it's stretching. That's how we are. And that, that is what the law of the rubber band is, is, is about. Growth stops when you lose that tension between where you are and where you could be. Growth stops when you 
when you lose the tension, this is the tension. I'm applying tension to stretch, you know, um, to where, between where you are and where you could be. God's gift to us is potential. Our gift to God is developing that potential. So talking about the law of the rubber band. Now, monotony is the awful reward of the careful. If you're too careful, you're going to be stuck in a rut. Um, monotony is the reward of um, the careful. And it's never too late to be what you might have been. That's George Eliot there. Note what I'm saying because I'm going to come back to my, my session. I just wanted to, to background this, this session with um, the law of the rubber band. And when you cultivate the habit of stretching like this rubber band, it becomes a lifestyle. And when it becomes a lifestyle, you begin the possibility path. You begin to walk the possibility path, which takes, which gives you the opportunity to make a significance and to live a life of significance. You begin to make a difference as you stretch, as you walk the possibility path. And you stop asking yourself about who you are you start asking yourself, what can I become? So on that note, I welcome you. I have recast the uh, topic for this session to the importance of evolving, reinvention and growth in the Nigerian media in the 21st century. Adebisi has told me that she wants it to be experience sharing. So I'm going to be sharing my experience as I evolved and as I reinvented myself and as I grew in the Nigerian media industry. And this covers the radio, print, TV, digital and literature affairs that I've, I've, I've walked through in the Nigerian media. And if you hear that I am described as a multi-genre media professional, this is the reason. So if you're ready, tell me yes, yes, yes in the in the chat box. Let me see the yes, 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 yes. Um, please, sis, you can move. <laughs> you can move the slide. I'm going to be very quick so that we can have our um, interactive. Next slide, please. So I evolved. Um, what does it mean to evolve? It means, no, go back to evolve, please. Oh, uh, Uncle Lekon Tufodori is here. I am glad that you're here. Uncle Lekon is uh, somebody who helps you to stay uh, on the path of significance. He helps uh, people to um, evolve. So I'm glad he's here. It's my honor to welcome you, especially evolve on radio. I evolved. I started. You're welcome, sir. I started in somewhere in the eastern part of Nigeria in Abia State as a reporter. My first uh, job was to report the military administrator at that time, Temi Ejo. And from there, I moved on to become a news and current affairs producer. I was producing radio programs, news programs on BCA then. And then after my service, I became a presenter, presenting um, in the mornings, in the evenings. And that's where I started becoming a breakfast anchor. What does it mean to become, to be a breakfast anchor? I, I, I started investing. Please note the words I'm saying, evolve, invest. I started investing in books. At that time, I had no mentor. I had role models back there at the BCA, people like, uh, um, what's, the director then now. I had people there, but somebody was practically mentoring me was not just there. So I fell, uh, I started using books and I read a lot of the books. I read so much, I had so much inside me to give and I started to make waves on TV, I mean, on radio as a breakfast anchor. I started with that and I, I became famous in the eastern part of Nigeria, Anambra, um, Akwai Bomb, Cross River, Rivers. How did I know? Because at that time we were having letters pouring in. We had another program where people talked about, which was called feedback, and people were sending mails and at that time, 70% of the mails would be people telling Funke Treasure, uh, Funke, at that time I wasn't Funke Treasure, um, commending me and telling them people what they heard about me. So from there, I came to Lagos and I became a breakfast show anchor immediately, presenting with the likes of Patrick O'Kane. Okay. 
Now, this is the point I want to, this is, I'm talking about evolving and investing here. When I pivoted to Radio Nigeria here in Lagos, I didn't realize I had packed so much inside of me back in Abia. You see, the thing is, wherever you are in the world, what you carry, if it is global, it will stand you out. So when I got to Lagos, I knew nobody in Radio Nigeria. I was just one presenter who had been employed. And I didn't know that there was a special program like that where the big boys, you know, gladiated. In no time, I was, in fact, I, I didn't think I'd spent more than one month uh, on, med on radio. Started presenting with John Susan that you now know today on TBC and Radio Continental. And... Um, Patrick Oke okay, and uh, some other people like that. And that's how I started to rise in Lagos. With time, um, I became a columnist. How did I become a columnist? It was from radio. People were listening to me on radio. They were thinking those things to share on radio. Why didn't you start writing about them? They didn't know I was a writer. I'd pocketed my gifts as a writer. I wasn't seeing myself as a writer anymore. And that was when a friend of mine, the Lua Ofeso, then said, why don't you start writing? I know somebody at New Age, and we left it at that. But it kindled the fire to start writing. In no time, uh, within the breakfast show, we had um, a session for um, New Age newspaper. And when these people came, the likes of Unduka Uchiono, the likes of Uzo, Maxim, they started coming on that um program and that's how they say oh why not columnists come out come along and that's why i started writing how i started writing for new age newspaper is now defunct from there i moved on to um the guardian on saturday but th there's something that happened with my uh, being on new age newspaper writing for new age newspaper there was this point the point from Ikere, that's what I call him. And so I, I don't remember his name anymore. Niyo Shindari. So I did this special for Niyo Shindari and I entered it for um, a fellowship. That's my first fellowship and my first international travel. Um, the Commonwealth Broadcasts, uh, oh, what is it called now? He's in Cardiff. I know uh, Uncle Leko Tufodori was there too. And that's how I got my first international training from, from radio to newspaper to the first international Thompson Foundation, that's it. So that's how I got my first uh, international training. And from there, I got another job as a country producer. International project, five nation project on HIV and AIDS. What am I saying? I'm talking about evolving. So with newspapers in Nigeria, I became known again. So I've already spoken to Guardian on Saturday, New Age newspaper, and then I started having interviews and my project started being featured on, on some of these papers. And Uncle Leko is here. He's featured me on the nation, uh, in the nation newspaper several times um, while he was there as an editor. And I thank him for that. Next slide, please. I'm trying to race through uh, so that I can cover everything we can talk. So. TV, how did I get to TV? So I'll go to events. I'll be interviewed by a reporter. Um, I'll be interviewed by a reporter repeatedly. One day, somebody looked at me and said, ah, and then I'll be featured as a guest. So one day, I went to another, um, uh, for another, what's it called? Another event. And that's where I met um, some people from Plus TV Africa. And they said, oh, we have a program. Would like you to be there. And that's how I became a presenter on Plus TV Africa, The Advocate. And after I that one rested, in fact, that one was still going on, I became a presenter on TVC, analyzing newspapers. And then Wazobia people came at some point and I became a presenter. You can see the photo there. The thing about failure, I'm going to come back to this quote, think like a queen. Do not be afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. I'll come back to that later. Let's move on. Literature, my books. So my first book was a childhood memoir. I just, as a presenter, I started seeing that people were beginning to despise our cultural heritage. You find young people, they will not be able to say, good morning, ma. 
and courtesy to you. I thought globalization was having the better of some of them and things were just not going right. So I thought to write a memoir about growing up with my parents and celebrating my Yoruba heritage. There's a man called Walter Fisher. He wrote the theory called narrat uh, narrative theory, which is also called narrative paradigm. He said, the world is experienced by people as a set of stories from which they choose. Your life is a story. You're living your life as a story. You are a story. And people are watching you as a story, you're a story unfolding. And as we choose, we live life in a process of continual recreation. Every day that you make choice, you're recreating your story. You're furthering your story. Next slide. So you see, I have three books there. Next slide, please. So then you cannot do all of these and not live a life of significance. Remember when I was telling you about the law of the rubber band, I talked about your pathway, staying on that pathway gives you opportunity to begin to live a life of significance. In my life of significance, back more than 10 years ago, I started again at work. I thought um, our young ones were not um, getting it right when they came for internships. And they would, they almost knew next to nothing about what we did in the, in, in the radio uh, station. And I saw that they had problems marrying the classroom with the reality of working in the media industry, particularly radio. So I started this media mentoring initiative more than 10 years ago in 2010. And we, we expanded, we grew in it. I've rested it now, but I'm looking at it. Even in life of significance, when I took that voluntary retirement from Radio Nigeria, um, I decided to go on this route to start to think about um, making a difference in the menstrual health and hygiene um, sector. And I know that a lot of people were taken aback. Uh, some people laughed at me. Some people criticized me of all the things in the world. She's talking about menstrual pass. Some people said it to my face. But you see, the thing about me is when I've made up my mind, I've made up my mind. It might take me time to make up my mind. But once I make up my mind, I give it everything that I've got. And so I didn't mind the... Uh, the, the the backbiting the the ridicule and some people look at me and and, and squeeze their face i'm like oh, look at my face oh sanitary part really but you see i said to myself one day i said you know what i feel i should do this i have a leading to do this I would do this. I know that a lot of people are advocating for sanitary pads. You find a lot of celebrities going to schools to give sanitary pads. I looked at what they have and I said, I'm going to make a difference here. And I started this campaign in 2020. The progress has been slow, um, but I'm really quite happy at what we've done. We have more than 2,000 girls and women who benefited from this. I mean, I know somebody who's done 20,000 people on a project like this, but mine is not just a project, it's a media campaign. So you can see we have a drama production, we have a podcast production, audio and video. The video will hit your screen soon. And then we have an essay competition for the girls. We have the PADS scholarship where we give out the PADS and do hygiene. So I am living the life that I want. I am living a life of, of significance. I am supporting other people in other areas. And as I do that, I walk this pathway of, of, of significance. I am meeting more people and it's bringing me more goodwill and it's helping me to grow in the, in the areas where I need to grow. Second um, slide, I mean, next slide rather. So this 21st century is the age of technology. We're about to see even more um bombardments uh, in a more ferocious way what technology can do we've seen what social media has become now we're going to begin to experience ai in ways that will radically change our thinking what do you begin to do remember evolve invest upgrade for this um don't be afraid of ai 
that's I remember when we started Radio Express. Remember when I said that I joined. Remember when I said that when I came to Lagos, I didn't spend more than one month before I joined the big show. Now on that show, internet at that time that was two thousand, two thousand. Not many people could use internet the way uh, we can use it now, um, using the 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 internet in the preparation and presentation of a program was still novel. But some of us were there already and it helped us to be outstanding back then. It's the same way AI is taking over now. AI is going to radically change the way we operate in the media and the newsrooms are there already. On radio, we already have a station in the US where it, um, um, robots are manning the radio station. I read something about the midnight belt and it's already AI powered. So a lot will start happening. You need to upgrade, you need to invest. The age of technology is coming like never before and you must not be caught napping. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. So don't be an island. Now I'm where I want to be. You've heard me mention people. You've heard me talk about people. Networking is important. And you, the more you meet new people, the more you expand. And that brings me to the law of expansion. The law of expansion says growth always increases your capacity. Now, there's this, there's a saying that we only use 10% of our true potential. The potential that exists within us is limitless and largely untapped. When you think of limits, it's because you've created that limit for yourself. I'll take, I'll take those words again. You only use 10% of your potential. The potential that exists within us is limitless and largely untapped. You think of limits because you have created the limits yourself. Think about it. You create limits. Ah, we can't do that. So because what if... And that's a game I play when I when I take people on program production, the what if game. The what if game is that you begin to create scenarios. What playing the what if game, you begin to deal with your fears. You begin to pull down the barriers. What if? What if? What if? What if this happens? What will I do? And you begin to find yourself moving forward. Stop thinking more work. Start thinking what works. I'll say that again. Stop thinking more work. Start thinking what works. Shift from can I. Shift to how can I. Can I do this? Uh-uh. Don't think about that again. Think about how can I do this? Because you really can do it if you think that 10% of your potential is untapped. I mean that you only use 10% of your potential. The 90% is untapped. So stop asking, can I? You can. Yes, you can. Start asking, how can I? How can I? And that's where strategy comes in. Okay? As you journey that way, everything looks like failure in the middle but you begin to persevere. Please stay on this, this slide, I'm still there. I'm just using the second law of growth, law of expansion. I've told you about the law of the rubber band. Now I'm telling you about the law of expansion. Growth always increases your capacity. Back to networking. When you meet new people, you learn new things. The old people you know ensure that you, you, you unearth what they've got for you. Everyone you meet, meet has a reason why you met them. They may be young, they may be old, they may even be everyday people. There's a reason why you're meeting people. Invest in yourself. Investment in yourself means training. Train yourself in what you need. Um, I needed to know how to produce programs beyond the kind of production I did at the BCA. What I was doing at that moment took me to that training at Cardiff, from Singing Foundation at Cardiff in Wales, in the United, um, in the United Kingdom. 
And that's where I learned to produce a kind of productions I would need when I became country producer trainer for that five country project on HIV and AIDS. So as you walk the pathway to significance, as you grow, everything you do takes you to the next point. I remember finishing that fellowship and coming back to Nigeria. And one of our, uh, um, one of the um, participants then, a Kenyan, just sent this work opportunity, just job opportunity to me. She said to me, I had treasure. You remember that thing, those things you people talk about after class, um, when we're, you know, relaxing, all those things, all those things about production you talk about, come, come and see this job opportunity. I'm sure you can do it. And I, 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 I put in for it, uh, for country manager, but I wasn't taking for country manager. I was taking for country producer. Country manager will have managed the five countries. A country producer was going to manage the Nigerian part of that project. If I did not invest myself, I would not have that opportunity. When that opportunity came, I will not have the skills to deliver on that uh, project. I opted out of that project at some point because they just wouldn't let me go. And when I was going, they said, look, give us somebody else. And I gave them somebody else who I had invested in, who had invested us on ourselves as well. Collaborate. You cannot do it alone. A tree does not make a forest. A tree is a tree, will stand in its beauty. I love orange trees. They are majestic in my eyes. I love orange trees. But orange trees, an orange tree is beautiful, yeah. But when there are plenty, you see the glory. That's when they become orchard, right? Isn't it? So collaborate is the new oil. I wouldn't have been able to expand our PAD scholarship at the Sanitary PAD Media Campaign to 13 states of Nigeria if I wasn't collaborating. I, was, I didn't get to all of those places. I worked with people I never knew. And by the virtue of the things I was doing, they were coming to me of their own accord and we were expanding together. Because when you beautify some other people, when you, when you invest on other people, it comes back to you. It's a seed. So collaboration is important. And I love what they do in the in the movie industry, in the music industry. They collaborate a lot. You find favor uh, featuring this person, uh, this person featuring that person. Look at what Adebisi is also doing. She's starting a series. She's featuring some. She's leveraging on the network she has in the media industry. You have to leverage. You cannot do it alone. Collaboration is the new oil in the knowledge industry. So you must collaborate. It's me, 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 me. This one I know I'm not sharing. You can't move for further. You can't move forward. You can't move, you can't go far doing it alone, right? The law of influence, increase your influence. There's also another law of influence. Um, the true measure of leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. No matter what you carry, if you're not influencing other people, it's zero. We cannot see the value, the, the measure of your leadership is your influence. Who have you influenced with what you have? Okay, contribute. In contributing your quota, you begin to live a life of significance. You begin to mean more. You begin to be valued. And when you bring value to the table, you begin to live a life of significance. You cannot contribute if you decided to be a lake. A lake is stagnant, it's in one place. It's me, 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 will not take you anywhere. And fail forward. Remember that quote by uh, Oprah Winfrey. Let's go back to that quote by Oprah Winfrey. Let's go back quickly to that quote by Oprah Winfrey. Yes, think like a queen. I know there are kings here. Kings also think, think like a king. A king has the entire kingdom in his, in his, in his, in his, in his under his, 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 his armpits. I mean, in his, in his, you have the kingdom, right? If you fail in this, you still have the kingdom. A queen is not afraid to fail. A king is not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. And a, pow a powerful example of that is the man who invented electricity. What's his name now? That man did it over and over and over and over again. The same thing with the man who invented tire. Many times that, that congealed thing he did that experiment many times before it came 
up with the one that produced tire, the tire for our, our automobiles here and there. So don't be afraid to fail. As I said earlier, when I started thinking about sanitary pad media campaign, I was looking for grants, I was in getting grants. The people I started with were in forthcoming. Some of, some of them had gone their different ways. I was all alone. And you know, there's a rule also that you don't necessarily end up with everyone you started with. So stop saying that, oh, this person has left me, that person has, they're not meant to stay with you for forever. So it's a rule that you don't end up with everyone you started with. So uh, know that and know peace. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. I started asking myself, what if I failed? People are going to laugh at me. Their selves are right. Maybe she has uh, Maxwell. She's not following her training. This, this, this. She can do a lot of things, but she's decided to come and do a sanitary part up and down. Can you just imagine? But I said to myself, what if I failed at it? At least one person will have benefited from this campaign. And I will have created some awareness, no matter how little, about menstrual health and hygiene. The day I made up my mind about that, I started having a lot of peace. Um, it doesn't matter if I feel now, I have achieved something and it's going to help me to, to feel forward. It has also helped me as an entrepreneur. It is never easy to start something of your own, no matter how highly placed you were, wherever you're coming from. So. Um, it is important to factor failure into what you're doing. Do not be afraid to fail. Failure is part of your journey to success. Um, whether you're being told today that you're not a good presenter, you're not a good news reader, it should help you to fail forward. It should help you to say, okay, what can I do to be a better presenter and a better news reader? I say this because when I was general manager of Radio One, I benched a lot of people. You can't read news, you can't read, um, you can't be a presenter. And they felt bad. They even started being malicious towards me about it. They started, they, 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 they started grudging me about it. But you see, they didn't realize I was giving them an opportunity to go grow in what they loved. Those who grew in, uh, on, on those, those things or in those things came back and became and, 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 and were celebrated for, 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 for them. And those who went on with their malice and malicious uh, uh, activities reaped the reward of their malice. Let me come back to my slide. So you need to continually invest in yourself. Failure does not mean that it's the end and you're a, a failure. You're not a failure. Fail forward. Stoop to conquer. There is nobody I cannot learn from. There is nobody I cannot ask, please help me from. So never ever be afraid to stoop to conquer. It's your destination that matters. The journey is important and the destination is important. While you're on that journey, please to, to conquer because you know that this is where you're headed and the true test of leadership is to arrive at where you you where you where you want to be. Do you understand? Um, it is very difficult to lead yourself. It's, it's easier to lead other people, but to lead yourself is the true test of leadership. Evolve, don't be a lake, don't be stagnant where you are. We are the custodians of Radio Nigeria. Uh, we know it's from uh, Princess Ademola to uh, Eddie Road. To, we have the history of this place. Well done. Uh, thank God for your life. But, and then, and then, you need to evolve. You need to know what's going on elsewhere. You need to grow beyond where you are. You need to be global. Combine your local knowledge with the global knowledge and it will move you forward. You need to reinvent. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm a multi-genre media professional and I fit in perfectly, make no mistakes. I fit in perfectly. I mean, I got two admissions at the Thompson Foundation. I got one for radio. I got one for print. And I, I told them, look, you sent me two admission letters. They said, choose one. Why? Because I did a feature on Neo Shundari that made, and I sent it to them. They gave me an admission to come and do print. And then for the radio, once I sent, they gave me another. So they said I should choose. Reinvent. Reinvent yourself. You're not limited to radio. There's convergence now. So radio is also TV. Now we can, we're watching you on YouTube. We're watching you on Facebook. So how are you leveraging on that? Invest in your appearance as well. 
reinvent. Don't be that, oh, because I can't do this again, that's the end of it. Look, AI is coming, reinvent yourself. There's a robotic school in Ibadan. I was passing by at a challenge heading for Ring Road and I saw the, the, the signboard. Some of our universities are not teaching AI yet. Can you go for that course online? and begin to invent to invest in yourself so that you can reinvent yourself there are free courses ai in newsrooms how are you going to be a person of value there how are you making yourself to live a life of significance there look with this ai we're going to be seeing you know computer schools in the time of uh, this, before we all knew how to operate internet and computer, <laughs> that's what's going to happen with AI. Start preparing yourself for it. Grow. You need to grow, 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 grow beyond Premier FM, grow beyond Metro FM, grow beyond radio. Grow. Find out what you can do about podcasting. Look at the podcast industry in Nigeria. It's people by those who are not in the media. Isn't that amazing? So what are we all doing? I'm doing something, but what are you doing? How do we leverage on your own skills? A light, you don't put, uh, you don't um, light a candle and put it under the table, do you? And you're a light. So why are you keeping your light under the bushel, under the table? You have to go next slide. Don't be an island. If you're not an island, you will meet with other people in meeting with other people opportunities will open up for you your phone how many people do you have in your contact how many of them are you getting in touch with that phone can do a lot of things i've been talking about the importance of evolving reinvention and growth in the nigerian media in the 21st century and i've been talking about i've been sharing my experience before i i i uh, stop this um talk um let me tell you what happened about AI in a WhatsApp group I belong to. So I developed this, I mean, I'm a trainer and I upgrade, I reinvent myself as a trainer. So I started reading up about AI and I got to this WhatsApp group that day and they were talking of having a, a, a session, a training session. So I asked them, are you thinking about AI in the newsroom? Are you seeing what's going on? At the end of the day, they say, oh, we will be talking about AI. Actually, we want you to be the moderator. <laughs> Open the door. Open several doors, my, my people. Um, ADBC talked about doors and talking about talents. And you see those multiple doors. Only one door is open. Please open many doors. Open, try many doors because you never can tell which door is going to open to you the vista you've been looking for. Growth is one of the hallmark of a living thing. Be a step ahead. Go for training. We are used to not paying for training in Nigeria. <laughs> if I tell you how much I've invested in, I've accessed free training, but I've invested in training. If I tell you how much I paid to become a John Maxwell trainer, coach, and facilitator, you open your mouth. If I tell you that what I've done to become a uh, to to learn about visibility on LinkedIn, you will open your mouth. <laughs> I pay for training. I pay. Yeah? So look for trainings. Free, paid, whatever will move you forward. Pay for it and do it. Read books. The times we spend on social media has robbed us of the time we should be doing reading books. And it's okay if you read your books on, on what's that thing called? Kindle. I don't do that. See, I'm using glasses and sometimes the screen can just be a, make me a mess. I still like my traditional books. I like to read, flip the paper. I like the pages. Yeah? Read books. Podcasts of different kinds. I listen to press podcasts once in a while. I do a lot of TED Talks. <laughs> and anywhere I see a professional who has a podcast, I listen because I have particular interest I'm looking for. Invest. Invest. And after investing, strategize. Where do you hope to be? Do not forget the law of the rubber band. Do not forget the law of the rubber band. This one has broken. It's broken. Do not forget the law of the rubber band. It stretches. Stretch. Stretch. You are meant to stretch. In stretching, you grow. Do not forget the law of expansion. Growth always increases your capacity. 
your capacity. See what I'm doing with it? Capacity. Stretch. Stretch. The law of the rubber band. The law of expansion. And with these few points, I hope I've convinced you and not confused you <laughs> that you need to evolve, you need to reinvent, and you need to grow to be perpetually, oh, continually wow. relevant wow. Wow. in the Nigerian. Wow. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so, so, Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I told you that it was going to be, in fact, I was looking at the time. I didn't want to stop her. So, well, running along, that was amazing. I've taken out a lot. She talks about AI and the media. Interestingly, the next, this uh, media uh, talks will be once in a month, held once in a month. And we are already planning that the next one for, the, for April will be on AI and media. You see that when, Shogo, you can bring that slide up, AI and media, where we can talk about the ethics, you know. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking AI tools for media professionals and ethical issues. We're going to talk about it extensively, bring an expert. And Shogo that is help, that is working behind the scene here, the tech guy is going to be the one talking to us about it because he's in the media and it's as well is is savvy in uh, in technology and AI tools. So he's going to be taking us that next month, make it a date. And I took out a lot. He said, you don't end up with everyone you started with. Mm. Stop thinking more work. Move to what works. Stop can I to how can I? I have taken a lot. I told you that I'm right because I also am here to learn. Do we have a few questions? Uh, because I really want yes, us I to keep see. it time. One o'clock. If you have questions, please put it on the um on the uh, chat box. We'll pick it up from there. Or you quickly uh, unmute yourself, really, to ask the question quickly because we have like um 10 minutes more on this call uh to wrap up everything that we have. If you have a question, you can drop it in the chat or you can quickly unmute yourself and ask your question. Anyone? We have Infobanger channels been raising up his hand for a while. Okay, let's unmute and ask the question. It's okay. Quickly. Infobanger, are you asking a question or you are clapping? Your hands are raised. Yes, yeah, sorry, it was a mistake. I actually wanted to clap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any questions there? Okay, let me just no. questions though. Ask, ask, ask okay, okay. opportunity. Okay, okay. Right, quickly. Well, I'm here. Hello. Hello, Dapo. Go ahead. Yes, good afternoon. I'm oh, sorry, it's still morning. Uh, good morning. Thank you very much, uh Antifunke. Thank you very much. I sent a message on the chat box, but I, I am not sure if um uh, we are okay, you me... inspired someone like me when you did yes. our final year lecture. In OOU, are going in 2011. Wow, 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 mm -hmm. wonderful. Go thank ahead. You, thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, the question I just want to ask is sometimes, you know, you may be working in some organizations where they feel like, oh, uh, maybe you are over ambitious. You're working in radio and maybe you have a gig on TV. Don't you think it might be uh, sometimes you just have to you know, wait for that time when the opportunity for TV comes and how you can also relate with your boss if that boss is um also helpful in making your dream come true to say oh you want to work in tv okay i can give you the opportunity because i have someone who had an issue uh i think that should be some weeks ago where you featured on another radio station as an analyst that is why now talking of tv there's some organizations they feel like just uh, be loyal to the to the radio just the face radio. us <laughs> mm. then um what were the challenges you faced back then uh, that also helped you to become who you are today. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Would that be another question so I can take everything together? Yes, if there, we can take one more question because I'm looking at the time. Uh, we hope to set up a WhatsApp group if you are interested where we can throw in some of these questions and questions to be answered. So one more question if you do have, if not, um, mm -hmm. Madam Funke will quickly uh, respond. My, mine is not a question, just a suggestion. So maybe after your response, or I don't know. Okay, so let me quickly respond then, so that we can have your response, sir. Okay, so before, if you're working with a particular radio station, right, you cannot go and be an analyst on another radio station. 
I remember having this this challenge. Well, this situation when I was general manager in Radio One, I had a an ambitious presenter then, who was working with us, but who was also trying to get a job with another radio. So he will come and work with us. And they were trying him out in a second radio station. I said, no, but you can't do this. In the civil service um, rules, there's no, there's no space for this sort of thing. If you are an independent presenter, as I am now that I've left Radio Nigeria, I can decide to work with Now FM today and work with Max FM tomorrow. I'm independent, I have my programs, okay? I can decide to be an analyst here, an analyst there, an analyst all over the place. I am not tied to any organization. It is wrong to go and appear on your competitor's um, platform. Do you understand? For TV, you have to learn to have difficult conversations with your boss. If your boss is that kind of person who um, encourages growth, they may allow you. I know a lot of our, I, I know quite a few of our presenters in Radio Nigeria who were presenting on NTA. I still watched two of them yesterday. They were presenting on NTA while they were in, in Radio Nigeria. One is still with Radio Nigeria, the other has left, but he's still presenting. He works with another TV station, but I don't think they watch NCA, so they're not seeing him, right? But it's it borders on ethics. Do you understand? You have to have that conversation with your boss. If they allow you, fine. If not, it's okay. But then it brings me back to strategy. What's your strategy? What's your plan? How long do you want to work in that place? Um, and do you really want to transit to TV? Why don't you go get a job at the TV station? How many years do you want to work in, on radio? And how many years do you want to work on TV? If you really need that TV job, then plan yourself in such a way that you can go there and continue with your trajectory in the media. But not many uh, bosses will allow you to work elsewhere when you're already working with them. And I know that I refuse to be GM. Look, I had opportunities to be GM elsewhere when I left Radio Nigeria, but I kept rejecting because I will not leave Radio Nigeria to come work with your station and not be allowed to pursue my dreams, not at that age. Do you understand? So it's about choice. The choices, you you find yourself uh, where you are based on the choices you make. I'll stop there and allow Uncle Lekon to for doing to, to have his say. Okay, um, Uncle Lekon, please quickly okay. have your say in so, one so, minute. So, 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 I remember you. So I, me I remember you mentioned about collaboration. I want to say that generally should learn to collaborate. So I had the moderator talking about people trying to structure. So I think too many journalists are struggling on their own. Too many people are having individual platforms. There's a lot in collaboration. And people should read newsletters uh, uh, outside this country to see trends. It's a global challenge that we are facing, and we can learn from them. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much, so, sir. So thank much, you so much, sir, for that addition. Um, thank, because again, we are media people, we like to keep to time. The I can again, do five more minutes, <laughs> okay? So, okay, I know I'm even I'm looking at the um attendees, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just want to uh, you know uh, add a few things because it's almost time, and I know some of them may have live shows. So again, we are hearing the word collaboration. Don't do this media journey alone. If you don't take anything away from here, don't do it alone. This, our guest speaker has said so. Uh, Mr. Lekon has said so. Don't do this media journey alone. A lot of us want to me, 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 my own corner, my own thing. You can't go far. We need to collaborate and come together. And that is why we are putting together, I have put together this media talks. It's going to come up once a month. We are having a, a WhatsApp, WhatsApp group, WhatsApp group where I think if you it's it's voluntary, I will ask to go to put the link um, on the uh, chat. You can join the WhatsApp group. So the idea is that we'll keep announcing, you know, the next uh, uh, talk uh, webinar sessions like this. And then if there are opportunities in the space, we will throw it there. If you have a question, you can throw it there and somebody can pick it up, you know, and help, we can help each other. I love the idea of influencing people. I work with media partners across states. 
national in Nigeria, and I work with, I've, I've been opportune to work with media, uh, professionals outside of this country. I have people working in some African countries, people in, you know, the, in Europe, all because of networking and meeting them through one, uh, you know, one, one course or the other. And we, have, we are where we are now because of the collaborations and the networking. And that's why we are doing this. That's why I'm doing this. So we need to work together and run this race together. So, so I've written a book. This is just me selling myself. Uh, available on seller. I shared my 20 years journey in the media space, my experience, my learnings, my failings, my successes, my wins. They are in this book. If you need a copy, you can reach out to me. And by the way, the person that first came, I think it's um, um, Olufemi or something, Bab. She's female, very funny, male voice. I owe you a free copy of my book. Please reach out to me later. And um, next slide quickly. Next steps, like we said, in April, we're going to be talking fully about AI and the media. Let's come and learn. And experts will come and teach us at least the much we can learn. We look at the opportunities in AI and being a media professionals, professional. And then we look at the ethical, you know, the gaps, the pitfalls, where you can, you can roll over boy, as we say in Yoruba, you know, so and, and guard against that. And so finally, the WhatsApp group page you find the link again. So I want to say thank you so much. My name is still Adebisi Adetunji. Uh, we, we will talk more in the WhatsApp group and link up more, share the opportunities. We can ask questions there. I want to thank everyone for showing up for our guest speaker, uh, Madam Anike Ade from Care Treasure for my tech support, Oluwa uh, Chogo. And for every one of you, and Mr. Lekon, I, I actually checked you out on Facebook and I see that you have a media uh, thing you are running. You know, academy you are running. Please, it's collaboration. The more the merrier. So you may want to follow Mr. Lekan or two uh, or two footprint on Facebook. Yeah, I, I saw that he's doing something on the media. Please, let's follow each other, and I think you will learn something also from. This is my first time meeting him. I see that he's doing some amazing things. So you can follow him, and you can also follow Madam Fun uh, Funke Treasure as well on social media. She's doing amazing things. Collaborate. Follow people that know the road. Follow, follow, so that you can grow. And we can all grow together. I say thank you so much for your time. I don't want to take much more time than this. We'll be reaching out to each other on the WhatsApp. Any last word before we say our bye byes? Uh, my last words will be that uh, we remember the law of the rubber band stretch, stretch from where you are to where you could be. Remember the law of expansion, growth always increases your capacity. Remember that collaboration is the new oil. Uncle Leko has spoken to that as well. He's a trainer he, and he's a respected trainer. He traveled the world, he's an author. <laughs> My people, whatever you find, your hand finds to do in the media, well. do it excellently. Mm -hmm. Invest in yourself. I can't stop saying invest in yourself. If you do, it's what you sow that you will reap. It's what you invest that will come back to you uh, yeah. in, as harvest, right? Please. Please collaborate, collaborate, and support people who are doing things. Thank you very much for um, allowing me to be your pioneer guest on this. Uh, I'm so, so grateful, man. So, so grateful, man. Thank you so, so much.